victory of Carlisle United, but the night and years are finally over tonight. It was confirmed late this afternoon that Michael Knighton has sold up. The new owner is Irish businessman John Courtney. The sale still has to be confirmed at a creditors meeting on August the 2nd, but this is unlikely to be a stumbling block. Former manager Roddy Collins, who was sacked from the club, is due to start back on Monday. This evening's confirmation of the sale brings years of wrangling to an end. Jonathan Willoughby has been following developments. Two promotions from Division 3 along with two trips to Wembley in the auto windscreen final. Attendances were at a record high and the good times looked ready to roll. A couple of seasons before, Carlisle had been close to extinction. The new man had turned it around. Michael Knighton was a god. The club failed to build on its early success though and the mood among supporters soon changed. Two relegations occurred. Knighton had become the devil. The sacking of a string of popular managers along with a seeming eagerness to sell the best players and spend little on replacements made him public enemy number one among Cumbrian football supporters. Today's agreement with John Courtney will be welcomed by most fans. He's promised to spend money in the transfer market and has already reappointed Roddy Collins and John Cunningham as his coaching team. Knighton told Border Television that the incessant campaigning against him had been difficult to endure, but that he was happy to stand by his record. He added that he could understand the fans' anger, saying that's football. Knighton wished the club well for the future. On the street, Courtney's takeover was welcomed. Pretty glad that that's happened, really, because I think he was holding Carl back a bit, that's all. Delighted, absolutely delighted. Me and my mates were thinking if we were going to go back this next year, like, because we've been for the last few years, and uh, we weren't going to. Absolutely delighted. I'm glad that Knighton's out because he was no good for the club. The new owner said he was relieved the deal had finally been concluded. It's a totally inclusive deal. I bought the holding company, CUSC Holding, and the football club, which is owned by Carlisle United 1921 Limited. Um, and it's, it's, I bought everything, all the assets and all the liabilities of the club. So how much is that? In price? Yeah. Uh, a lot. <laughs> and the news was enough to spark the club's fourth season ticket sale of the season. And Joe actually bought a season ticket today. Uh, I think they'd only sold three previously. That's right. Well, maybe it's four. Yes, I bought one today. Greatly relieved. Wonderful. So is this really the end of Michael Knighton's decade of dominance at Brunton Park? Well, it certainly seems so. We've been talking to some of the players and staff who've been leaving the club today and they're convinced that Michael Knighton will have no involvement with the club whatsoever as from Monday. A statement was issued this afternoon. It reads, the Carlisle United Board of Directors and current owner of the club, Michael Knighton, can confirm that a sale of Michael Knighton's shareholding has been agreed in principle with Irish businessman John Courtney. The sale of Mr Knighton's shares is subject only to the CVA plan being approved at the creditors' meeting on August the 2nd, 2002. So once all of the money matters are settled, what will be happening on the pitch? Carl United has certainly had a rocky few seasons. So what are John Courtney's immediate plans? He's still in Ireland at the moment, but late this afternoon, Andrew Farmer spoke to him. I've always maintained that football should be about entertainment and, and enjoyment, not about painful punishment and arguing and fighting and squabbling. And that's what's been going on here for a long, long time. And unfortunately, to a small degree, I did get sucked into that. You don't have much choice at times. But now it's over. It's history. I, I, I'm just looking forward. We, we've only got two weeks to kick off the league. So Ruddy and the coaches are moving straight back in. I mean, Ruddy is already on the phone lining up players. We had a list of players. We knew who we wanted to get. So we're working on that straight away. And how much money is available to spend on new players? Can you tell us that? It's, it's not... I, I haven't set a, a finite target on it. I mean, you're down the bottom of the third division. We won't be buying Rio Ferdinand, for instance. Uh, but we're at the bottom of the third division, and, and in order to do better than that, we don't need to go uh, mad. But I, I think anybody who knows the team would have a fair idea of the people who were released who are actually regulars in the first team last year. And the regulars in the first team who have been released, we would definitely be interested in coming back. So what are your short-term goals, then, for the club? Short time, how short? One year? Yeah, what well, next season? Second division. And um, two seasons. We're confident we get promoted. And, uh, two seasons a bit hard to look it's a bit hard to look that far forward. But I would think that mostly if you get promoted you probably need um, 
a holding year in the division to get yourself organized and then go forward. But I would definitely think that within four years, uh, our aim, you can't guarantee any of this, it's just an aim and an aspiration, and we'll do our very best to achieve it, is to be in the first division in three to four years. And heading, it was feared, for oblivion as a new owner. He's John Courtney, the Dublin businessman, and he's been busy already. More on that in a moment when we hear from him. Meanwhile, people in Carlisle have been giving their reaction to today's announcement. It can only be good news, can it? Because uh, after the last ups and downs of the last two years, it looks like a settled future. I think that's brilliant news, yeah. Newcastle Knights have brought up with a uh, all of us had sympathy for them, because you know, they've been going for the mill lately. It's a waste of space. Carlisle United? Yes. I mean, John Courtney's actually bought the club now. Do you think it will change? The McMahon money selling potatoes on that field. Well, John Courtney came into our Dublin studio earlier and he told me that as part of the deal, the club's former manager, Roddy Collins, has been reinstated. Been signing players all day, and that's the truth. And uh, he reports for work at Brunton Park Monday morning with John Cunningham and with um, Tony Elliott, the two coaches and then we'll have a look at the rest of the stuff. Now, when Michael Knighton took over at Carlisle United, he, he famously predicted the club would end up in the Premiership. Are you as ambitious as that? I'd be very happy if we ended up in the Premiership. Um, realistically, no. And I think 10 years ago, Premiership was only beginning. Everybody thought it was possible. It really would be a huge step to go to the Premiership. We're very confident that we can have the club promoted. Um, certainly, I wouldn't think the First Division would be out. It's, the first division is definitely within our targets. We would like to be in the first division inside three years, four years at worst. But um, and we believe we can do that. So, can Carlisle fans now look forward to a rosy future? Are, are their worries over? I, I, yes, their worries are over. We've I've always believed that football is an entertainment, um, not a punishment. And I think they'll be fine. I think we'll go forward together and push on. There's a lot of uh, facilities at Carlisle. There's uh, the opportunity to do something really worthwhile and because we're so low down starting right at the bottom of the third division everything we do will be measurable but we're genuine football people and I think Roddy and the coaches are excellent uh, everybody saw what they did in the second half of last season um, we've no reason to feel that we we don't fear anybody we think we're up for it we think we're going to do it can't guarantee it I don't know if Michael gave a guarantee with his promise I don't think there's any guarantee in football strange things happen we'll certainly give it our very best shot and and have a bit of fun. A lot of the things in football in England, Roddy and I, uh, it was his first year in England last year, and I spent, as you know, a lot of time over in the second half of the season. And we would feel that we should, we would do things slightly differently. Um, there seems to be a set formula for doing things. We're going to do it a different way. John Courtney, in Dublin, thank you very much. Thank you.